We want to integrate this using integration by parts. But before we do that, let's talk about the thought process that we would come to before using integration by parts. The first thing we should recognize here is we can rewrite this natural log as natural log x to the one half and then apply the power property. So let's write this as the integral of 6x squared natural log x to the one half dx. Then if we apply the power property of logarithms, we can take this one half and then multiply it by the natural log. So this would be the integral of 3x squared natural log x dx. And then from here we want to make sure that integration by substitution won't work. Notice if we let u equal 3x squared, du would be 6x dx, which we don't have in our integral. So that doesn't work. And if we let u equal natural log x, notice differential u would be 1 over x dx which also doesn't match our integrand. So this leads us to integration by parts. And the formula for integration by parts is given here. So we're going to let part of this integral equal u and the rest equal dv. Once we identify u, we'll determine differential u. And once we identify dv, we'll integrate to determine v. And the guidelines are we want to select u so that differential u is simpler than u and we want to choose a dv that's easy to integrate. Well, integrating natural log x is very difficult, so when natural log is involved, we'll always let u equal the natural log function. So we'll have u equal natural log x, which means differential u is going to be equal to 1 over x dx. So if this is u, that leaves dv as 3x squared dx. So to determine v, we'll have to integrate 3x squared dx. Let's show that over here. The integral of 3x squared dx, well, this is a pretty straightforward one. We'd have 3 times x cubed over 3 plus c. So we have x cubed plus c, but we'll leave the plus c to the very end. So we have v equals x cubed. Now we have everything we need to apply the integration by parts formula. The original integral is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Well, here's u and here's v, so we'll have x cubed natural log x minus the integral of v du. Well, here's v and here's du, so we'll have x cubed times 1 over x dx. And this simplifies nicely. We're going to have x cubed natural log x minus the integral of, this will be x squared dx. And this is the whole reason for applying integration by parts. Notice how this integral here is much easier to integrate than the original integral. So the antiderivative will be x cubed natural log x minus, here we're going to have x cubed divided by 3, or 1 third x cubed, and then plus c for the constant of integration. So here's our antiderivative using integration by parts. We'll take a look at another example in the next video. I hope this was helpful.